Episode 9 is set to deliver tons of twists and turns by writer and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one character that I'm really excited to see in this film is, of course, the character of Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, and what J.J. Abrams will be doing with this character since he will be taking him down a far darker path and will be adding in a lot of elements of Darth Vader, which honestly is going to be very interesting to see exactly how this is all going to work out on the big screen. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with a major hint and or indicator of Kylo Ren's death in Star Wars Episode Nine, specifically a description of a rear shot of Rey with the Falcon to the side and appears to have minor damage. In front of her on the ground is Kylo Ren, around five feet away, who appears appears to be unconscious. There are tons of debris and rubble around him. The next goes over Rey on her knees and touching Kylo Ren's forehead. Ironically, a direct parallel to what Palpatine did to Anakin on Mustafar. Another describes a band of resistance fighters slash pirates all aiming their rifles at the unconscious Kylo Ren, with Rey by his side. The description implies the resistance and pirates want to take out Kylo Ren while he is vulnerable and asking Rey to get out of the way. So this is a very intriguing one, I gotta say. A lot of people have been wondering about what's going to happen with Rey and Kylo Ren and what kind of, you know, romance are we going to see in Episode 9. It has been said that this movie is going to have one of the most unique romantic angles in a Star Wars film in history. Now, as far as this goes, this to me sounds like Rey is trying to protect Kylo Ren while he is knocked unconscious or maybe he's even dead at this point in time. We're not quite sure how injured he is, what kind of injuries he does have, uh, but I will say that if we look at Return of the Jedi, we see what J.J. Abrams may actually incorporate from that film into Episode 9, and he could do a reverse, or he could to, or he could do the same exact thing, just in a different way. So in this scenario, Rey is basically trying to save Kylo Ren, the villain at this point in time, in which the Resistance and the Pirates, most likely the Pirates are referring to the Pirates that belong to Maz Kanata, are all trying to kill Kylo Ren, but Rey is in the way. Now this sounds like a cliche thing, yes, that you do see in a lot of movies out there. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a lot of the things that we have seen in a lot of the Disney movies as well. This has actually happened. So I think that if you look at everything that has, you know, happened in Star Wars The Last Jedi and Star Wars The Force Awakens, J.J. Abrams is just really trying to bring in new experiences and moments that are really going to resonate with the fans. Now, does this feel like Star Wars to you guys when the the main hero and the main villain are basically going to have a scene, something around these lines, you know, something around like this, where the main hero is trying to protect the main villain, where her allies are trying to take and kill the villain, and they're asking her to get out of the way. Now, so far, so good with the Millennium Falcon, right? It's described that it only has minor damage at this point in time. I think that's one of the biggest concerns in this film is what's going to happen to the Millennium Falcon in Episode 9. Could it be that Lando Calrissian is going to sacrifice himself inside of the Falcon, you know, in order to die in a blaze of glory? That's another possibility for sure. As far as the death of Kylo Ren, honestly, I would like this character to survive in a very unique way where they could pick up on the character in a possible future Star Wars film or even Star Wars trilogy. That's how I think that they should have continued the Skywalker saga. This one doesn't necessarily have to be the final Skywalker saga film. If Disney and Lucasfilm really wanted to, they could have ended Episode 9 on a large cliffhanger and set up an entire new trilogy where Kylo Ren is the big bad, right? The big bad character, and he's taking on an entire legion of resistance fighters and pirates and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think about Kylo Ren in Episode 9. What is really going on here? You know, to me, obviously, this is a hint of Kylo Ren's death. Something is going to happen to either Rey or Kylo Ren in this scenario. And I would say that if we look at Disney and Lucasfilm, 
they are actually going to be incorporating Raylo moments into this movie, which is another good thing because a lot of people are wondering about what's actually happening with the whole entire romantic angle with both Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, though I do believe that Raylo is a very risky thing to do right now, it has to make sense. There's a lot of obstacles to go through. Like I say, I'm not 100% for it, but I'm not 100% against it either. I'm kind of in the middle when it comes to the concept of Raylo. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.